Uh, I'm going to be trying something new today, tonight. It's going to be called On the Spot Challenge. Um, I was talking about this in a previous video. Um, if you haven't watched it, it was in my uh, one of my uh, under the the C the C one where I did a demonstration of a coloring underwater world. It's funny. I don't even. Uh, I just do these things and I kind of forget. Um, but I mentioned about doing this on-the-spot kind of uh, uh, video. So um, I think this is the biggest challenge is like for an artist is to you can practice and then show it. You know, okay, yeah, this is what it is. But to do something on the spot and then to broadcast it, I think it's kind of scary. But uh, you know, it's. I think I'm putting myself out of the comfort zone and uh, to try to do something new. Uh, what you see here is a piece that I made in 12th grade in a machine shop and, uh, and probably see why I enjoy doing robots and stuff. I try to mimic what I was doing in a machine shop. Uh, Fortunately, this has uh, had a lot of wear and tear, but, you know, it's amazing how you could take a piece of metal, round cylinder, or whatever, you know, it was, and, and uh, some of it was a little off, you know, but, but you had to do it on a lathe and just kind of have a little blade going in. Uh, I found this, those machine shop lathes are a lot easier to do than... Uh, you know, I'm not saying it's easy to do, but I mean, wood shop ones. Uh, and I, I don't really remember doing that much, honestly, with a wood shop. But, uh, and of course, I had to hammer it down, and you know, whatever. But it's like a kind of a judge's mallet or something like that. So, I'm not trying to make anything symbolic about it today. I just uh, want to do demonstration of this. So, like I said, it's on the spot. <laughs> if it turns out, it turns out. If it doesn't, well, it's kind of a kind of a personal challenge to myself. And, uh, anyway, it's like, see what happens? I don't know. So, I'm going to be using this as my model. I am not a big still life person, but I have done it. Um, when necessary. I, uh, I actually really enjoyed doing a few years back uh, during the winter, uh, the fall months was a I don't know if it just picks up on the camera or not. I apologize if it doesn't. Actually what I might do is speed this part up if you just excuse me. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I thought I was recording the whole time, and I just... <laughs> I apologize. Uh, that's uh, the... Uh, you know, I... <laughs> basically, just to kind of recap what I did, um, I painted the gavel right here, and uh, I thought it was recording for some reason. I guess it wasn't. That was really weird. Anyway, say, well, okay, well, I'm, uh, sorry to, to really confuse you there. <laughs> Again, like I said, I started this series of this video to, um, to try to just, to uh, do something on the spot to challenge myself, and, uh, so again, I, well, you didn't see this in the video, and it, it actually I didn't really do a whole lot. I'm just kind of filling in the uh, colors here. And again, I, I mentioned before, I apologize, I'm not a... Uh, I don't go into the details of what paints I'm using and stuff like that. I hardly know what paint I am using anyway, what color it is. Because I muddy it up, I uh, blend it. <laughs> uh, so, I, you know, that's what makes me little, if you're trying to follow along and trying to want to paint uh, this project, uh, that might be a little complicated. <laughs> so I do apologize for that. Uh, 
so I'm, uh, um, yeah, I, I just was fascinated with this. Uh, I wanted, I've been wanting to do this anyway. I wanted to do this for my own, just one day, just a project. I, I think some reason being on film gives me a little more inspiration, a little more challenge. Because as I said before, it, if I mentioned it in the last... I was kind of pausing and stopping um, as I was going. Uh, you know, you, you got to challenge yourself as an artist. and uh, You know, try to do something new and challenging. And uh, whether that's for a commission work or is it for just yourself, you know. You just got to say, oh, I'm going to do this project. Because uh, I think uh, artists... Are personally want to be challenged. They want to do something hard. They want to do something difficult. Just bring it on, you know, kind of thing. And that's uh, kind of the way I I am with my work. And uh, so, and again, it's it's uh, formation. It doesn't look like much right now, but it's coming along. And I don't know if you would be painting along with me. It might be a little challenge, but if you want, go ahead. I mean, that's. Uh, I just kind of want to make this a little journey you can take with me. I kind of want to draw a little, uh, bring you along in this uh, journey of art, you know, because um, art is therapeutic. Art is, you know, whatever you're going through in life, you know, you could just have some hard times and you could just, I don't know why, it just takes you away for a while. It's like a portal. In some ways, so and again, I I'm just gathering a paint there. Now, originally, it could have been because in t the time this was actually the mallet was um, the gavel, the hammer, whatever it is. <laughs> was uh, actually more copper color so it's probably it's probably because of the uh, you, know, you might correct me if I know the the oxi oxidation there I'm, uh, I'm rambling yeah but it changes over time so yeah so. but I do have a fond memory of it being I believe it was copper I'm not 100 percent sure it's been such a long time since I've done it the painting project. So, yeah, it was very fun to do. I really enjoyed it. So, it's, if you notice, I'm trying to have it where it's laying down. I haven't added the shadows down here, so it looks kind of like it's just floating. So, I have to kind of bring that along. Um, and I try to move around, um, not just focus on one spot. Um, I used to do that, and I was kind of brought to my attention. You know, you might want to <laughs> not keep working one spot over and over again. You know, you kind of move around, and ever since I kind of learned that little tip. I I kind of like wow that's a that's you know it brought to my attention because a lot of times you know we're painting and we're not uh, aware of what we're doing we're not doing you know so a lot of times you you have to have somebody else look at your work and kind of critique it and go hmm, well that's a little bit off or that's something and uh, it's learning how to take it you know learning how to take criticism or whatever it is, you know, you're <laughs> and I'm starting these videos because I know these are not gonna look perfect. They're not gonna look like, you know, <laughs> anywhere close. Um I'm thinking I'm challenge I wanna do things even that would challenge me and if they don't turn out, if I make some mistakes, I want you guys to see it. And that's what the whole purpose of it. I just want you guys to it's like a reality painting show, <laughs> I guess you would say. Here it is, you know, and I don't have a, sometimes I might say, I don't have a clue what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. 
a lot of times we do. I mean, you're, you know, you're an artist, or you're trying to do something, or you're working from a photograph or something, or you're trying to draw an animal, or you're trying to draw, you know, whatever it is, and uh, you're just, you're, you're so perplexed, you're like, how in the world am I supposed to do that? But I am, I would say, honestly, I am a prime example of practice does make, make you better. As, um, just for a little demonstration, not to toot my horn, because I don't have any horns anyway, so, to, to toot, so, I'm not very good at playing instruments. Uh, anyway, what I was talking about is, uh, when I was in high school, I really wanted to do pastels, and, uh, I tried, I tried, I tried, and I was trying to do this, uh, I know you're not supposed to work from a photograph, and I did a lot when I was in uh, I didn't know really it wasn't brought to my attention about copyright issues, and I don't do that now. They're, most of my things are out of my head. They're, they're all out of my head unless I have a photograph of my own. But uh, anyway, I was trying to do this Phantom of the Opera piece, and it was uh, with, with chalk pastel, and I was just having such a hard time figuring out. I think I was in 10th, 11th grade, uh, you know, well, some, somewhere around that time. And it it wasn't like I had to do it. Nobody told me I had to do it. It was kind of like a personal challenge. I really wanted to learn. And then something happened around 12th grade. I don't know. It's between 11th and 12th. I just, something clicked. I just, uh, I figured it out. And you just kind of figure it out. And you're like, wow, that's, that's how you do it. That's how you get better. And anyway, I entered this one competition, um, it was a festival of the arts or something in Cyprus, and I did this Jimi Hendrix. Uh, I changed the photograph, you know, I worked from a photograph, but I did change it quite a bit, so I really made it my own. I have um, kind of like his side profile, and he had like purple haze. That basically had a lot of purple near his face and almost looked like uh, vibrating, and uh, the whole purpose was purple haze, you know, that was. <laughs> But anyway, um, and it turned out you, they said I won something, and they didn't, they didn't tell me, you know, and they were waiting the whole time, and they got all these first, second, third, you know, prizes, and I'm thinking, where's, you know, I'm just perplexed, like, they didn't mention my name, I was kind of disappointed, <laughs> and it turned out I got the grand prize, and, uh, that was, I can't remember, it was, there was some money involved, and they actually took, they kept the painting, so, so it's somewhere in the archives over there. Anyway, so and that was quite an honor, but it it just shows you that you can uh, go from one one thing to another. I may have to call this kind of um, close this out because I typically, for some reason, on my phone, the memory gets really full fast, and if, especially if I'm recording it, uh, the time lapse videos don't do it as much. So, um, you may come back, I may do work on a little bit more. Again, it's a little bit rough, but once you bring in the details, once I bring in all that, and again, like I said, this is kind of like on the spot, that's what I call it, to just put myself on the spot. I'm putting myself on the spot to kind of go, okay, do something that i never done before. And I haven't done this mantle, this uh, gavel before, other than when I did actually do it in Machine Shop. And so, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, and have a good night.